Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eileen and this is my channel Hustle and Slow where I talk all about making money from home and my focus is kind of on reselling because that's what we do um, as are the bulk of our income. So today I'm going to be going over my income report from reselling. If I'm glancing over here, it's because I'm kind of checking my numbers because I don't have them memorized. So this income report covers just our sales. So it's more of a sales report for selling on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. Those are the three places that I have been selling on for the last couple of years. And it doesn't include any other income like my YouTube income, um, any blogging income, our rental property income, anything like that. It doesn't cover any of that. It, sort, it solely covers reselling. So let's get started. So before I like to get you the numbers on how much we made, I always like to tell you how much work we put in. Um, this month I listed, not this month, November. This is the income report for November and I listed 301 new items on eBay. I do aim for 100 items a week, but we don't always make it. And in fact, we rarely, rarely make it, but we try. So 301 items on eBay in November and I cross posted 67 items to Poshmark and Mercari. So we really were focusing on sourcing and getting stuff on eBay instead of cross posting. So that is something that we did in November. Um, and then the approximate hours that we worked in November was about 95 hours. That is for the entire month. That is an estimate. And that is um, my husband and I who both work on this reselling business together. So about 95 hours for the month. Um, which comes out to, what is that, a little over 20, 20 to 25 hours a week, less than 25 hours a week. So um, that is how much time we spent on our reselling business. And this is an estimate based on an app I have on my computer called Rescue Time. I will link to it down below um, that just kind of records all, not records, but like pays attention to where you're spending your time on the computer. Also my screen time app on my iPhone and just the time that I know I spent sourcing. So it's kind of, it really is an estimate, but it's a pretty good estimate. All right, so now for the numbers. On eBay, we sold 101 items and our total sales were $3,006.75. Um, this is up from just over, or just under $1,300 in October. Um, we had just gone on a road trip and got back in October. So we are really building back up right now. So we more than doubled our sales, which is great. Um, the average sale price per item was $29.76. This does include shipping because some items are free shipping, like just the way eBay records everything, it includes shipping in our numbers. So we just include them in our numbers to keep them, to keep it organized. So this is up from $26.23 in October. Um, our Poshmark sales were $643, which is up from $380 in October. Um, we sold 33 items which is more than the 24 we sold in October. And our average sale price is $19.48, which is up from the 15.80 average sale price in October. And then in, on Mercari, we sold one item for $18. So our average sale price was $18, but that is still up from the zero in October. And I will talk about that soon. So our totals are $3,667.75 in November, which is up from this 1,665 dollars and 73 cents in October. We sold 135 items total in November, which is up from the 73 items that we sold in October. So everything is up. Everything has around doubled or maybe more than doubled. Um, and we are hoping to continue that trend of going up as we try to build our business back up after being gone for almost six weeks. Um, I will enter a screenshot here from eBay. It is the easiest screenshot to show you, but I do like to show um, that I am telling the truth. Um, Keep in mind this screenshot is a little bit different from the number that I shared with you because this graph is always off a little bit from my totals when I look at my sales on eBay and it's not a lot. I think they just take into consideration returns and stuff like that. So it's always a little bit, I don't know. I need to figure out why it's like that. Does anybody know what exactly the difference is? Because if I go to my orders on eBay, it gives me a total. And then if I go here, it's a little bit different. So, um, so what did we do in November? Um, we listed a ton. Um, I guess not a ton. We listed a lot. That was our main focus was sourcing and listing. Um, I started sourcing almost solely from the Goodwill outlet because it, the cost of goods is low. Um, it is a lot more work. Maybe not a lot more work. There's a lot more driving involved because I don't have one near me. The one that I like to go to is four hours round trip. Um, so that is what we started doing. We didn't list as much as we had wanted to because my daughter got sick and then I got sick. So that was about a week and then there was Thanksgiving. So um, there was a lot of time, like downtime from people being sick or holidays, but that's just life, right? So 
Um, we didn't list quite as much as we wanted to, but we still listed a lot more than we had previously. You can see that our sales more than doubled from October to November, which means that we're doing something right. We are getting more listings up and we are able to sell more. And that is the goal to keep that going. So our goals for no our goals for November were all fails, 100% of them. I wanted to list 600 new items on eBay. We only listed just over 300. I wanted to cross post 300 items to Poshmark. Did not do that. I did 67 and I wanted $5,000 in sales and we were about $1,400 short of that, maybe a little over $1,300 short of that. Um, so our plan for November is to keep listing. Um, our main goal is to list, find really good stuff and list as much as possible. We want to get to, um, I'm hoping to get to 700 active listings. I think we're around 500 right now um, by the end of December, by the end of the year. And also um, I'm going to stop listing on Mercari. You can see that our sales on Mercari aren't great. I'm not cross posting that much. It takes time and I really just need to focus on eBay and Poshmark. Those are the two that are making me the most money. So I'm just gonna cut out Mercari for now. Mercari is a great platform. Um, but if you just, if you spread yourself too thin, you're just not going to be able to be successful if you're focusing on so many things at once. So eBay and Poshmark are where we're at and that is where our focus is going to be moving forward. We are just, I'm leaving the items that are listed on Mercari, but I'm not listing any more items. Also in November, or also in December, my goal is to, um, only source at the Goodwill outlet and also source once a week. So that's a long drive for me, but people do that every day and it's going to be fine. So I'm going to make it. Um, my December goals are list 400 new items on eBay. I'm going to be a little bit less ambitious this time because it's the holidays and it's just not as much, there's not much, as much time to list because we have parties and holiday stuff going on. Um, I want to cross post 300 items to Poshmark. I am going to make that this month because we're cutting Mercari and we're just focusing a lot more on cross posting. Um, having items in both places just increases our chances of selling those items. And I want to hit at least $6,000 in sales. Um, the last couple, the last week or so has been kind of slow, um, but it is picking back up as of yesterday. So my fingers are crossed that we can make that $6,000 because we really need to get there. Um, because this, like I said, is the bulk of our income at the moment and we really need to grow faster than we are at the moment. So that is the goal. So that is our income report or our sales report for November 2019. And I will see you next month with our December report. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It tells YouTube that you like this video. It's good quality content and it will show it to more people. And then also hit that subscribe button down below. And I'm so excited to announce that I have 5,000 followers, not followers, subscribers on YouTube. How exciting. Um, when I started filming on YouTube, I didn't really think that I would get anybody. So it's really fun that there's 5,000 of you that have decided to subscribe to my videos. Thank you guys so much for all the support and I'll see you next time. Bye.